This is Twit. Uh, all right, so I've got a uh, I've got a new gizmo that finally came in. I am excited about it. I've already started playing with it. I've got the Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. It's over there on the desk. It's actually in use. That's why I'm not dragging it over here to actually show it to you. Look, um, no, I, I've I've been trying to um, I've been trying to do a compilation of Meshtastic D from Source on it uh, today. That's one of the things I've been poking at because. We've had some people that have complained about problems on Trixie. So that's the other thing I'm testing out. I figured I, I would come and give you a quick review of Meshtastic D. Uh, excuse me now. A quick review of Trixie and a quick review of the Pi 500 Plus and uh, what my experience has been. And the one thing that I wish they would change. So... The 500 plus, I've had a uh, I've had a great experience with it so far. The keyboard is really nice. Uh, the 16 gigs of RAM is really nice, and the um, the NVMe is really pretty good. The NVMe it comes with is 256 gigs, and so that is the one thing that I wish they would change. Is I wish there was an option to have it with to, to ship with no NVMe, so you could bring your own storage. Um, and you know, they could knock a good $35 off the price, I think. Uh, and, uh, then, you know, I could put a one terabyte micron or whatever in there and be good to go with that. Uh, but other than that, I have no complaints about it. I've really had a good experience. Now it came out of box with the Raspberry Pi OS 12 installed on it. And that was fine. But then like the day after it came, they announced or the day before very, very soon around the same time. Uh, they announced the availability of of 13, of Trixie, the Trixie-based Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, and so I said, well, people are having trouble with this. I need to go test it. Let's see what it's like on there. It'd be great to be able to talk about it on this show as well. Uh, and so I did the install. We're going to talk at the end of the show about that install, by the way, because I learned a very cool trick. Um, but I threw Raspberry Pi OS Trixie on there booted it up. Everything just works. Um, I don't know if it's confirmation bias or not, but like the whole system felt just a little bit more responsive. Like it was just a little bit better. Um, it pretty much looks the same. You know, they've got a couple of uh, new features in there, like the the ability to add printers more easily. They, there's some other things that have been touched up. Um, but so far, I mean, it's been kind of a boring experience going to the Debian 13 base, which is what you want. Um, yeah, I don't really have any, I don't have any complaints about it. Uh, Wizardling in our chat says, I wish they could have made the M.2 slot more easily accessible. And I would agree with that. I think it would have made sense to put a little, you know, access panel on there that unscrew and just pop to be able to get to it. But it's, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker. Well, and if you have an M.2 slot, you can put an adapter to a U.2 because basically it's almost the same thing. And then that opens you up for you could put like a 30 terabyte SSD on that baby. Talk about media server. You know, yeah, so it or is bigger. It is a it is basically a full fat one X PCI Express three, I think, lane. Um, and so you can do there's a lot of stuff that you can do with that. Um, if you want to see someone just absolutely go nuts, check out Jeff Gearling's channel. And of course, he has been uh, in fact, just today he was live streaming rotating through various gpus like full-size desktop gpus hanging off of that port and uh you know of course he was running crisis on it and all kinds of other stuff uh and having having pretty good success with it um <laughs> he he ran one of the llms i think it was chat gpt's open source llm you know so it's running on the raspberry pi on this you know big desktop gpu and he asked the llm can you run on a raspberry pi and the llm's response was no no way there's no way to do that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it was fun. Side side note too, you had uh, Trixie on there, and I, we're not talking about it today. But Mint released their uh, Debian edition because they're actually normally they're based off Ubuntu, but then, now they have a LMDE, which is just in case something happens or Ubuntu gets too locked down, they're able to still continue with mint so it, it just seems like since trixie debian is really 
gaining some momentum, I've noticed. Yeah, well, you know, so the, the whole thing with Debian is that they they weren't willing to include certain things like um, the NVIDIA uh, packages. They, they weren't willing to include any of that closed source stuff by default. And they've kind of softened their stance on that. I think some of their firmware packages as well changed what they were willing to include. And so that really stole a lot of the thunder out of, say, Ubuntu. It's one of the big differences between Ubuntu and Debian. So, yeah, there has been sort of a, a, a walk back towards, yeah, yeah, maybe Debian's not so bad after all. Just run Debian. It's been interesting to see. Yeah, because now that they allow the non-free, you took a big chunk of what uh, Ubuntu What made it special. Yeah. But, I, you know, I still would recommend Ubuntu as one of the, you know, newbie distributions, that and Fedora, mm -hmm. because just going with Cashy, I have noticed when I've looked things up, it's a little harder to find. It's mm. not terrible, you know, and being a experienced Linux user, I kind of know what rocks to turn over. Right. But, you know, mom or grandma or somebody or grandpa, you know, you, you put Ubuntu space question. Oh, here you go. Cashy, mm -hmm. a little more digging. So I can and I may you know, touch on one of the reasons name. why in one of my articles later. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're to it. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux Show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. See you there. <laughs> <laughs>